are watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God. Welcome everyone. Happy New Year. I'm Evangelist Rebecca No. I just want to talk to you about the coming of the Lord. Is he coming back? Just like he said, he, you come back. Um, darkness will be everywhere. Then you appear in the sky. The trumpets will be sounded and the Lord will appear in the sky and the Christians that are living will be tr translated and going to meet with him in the sky. Those that died, that are resting in the Lord, they will be lifted and they will go and meet with him in the sky. And then you go lead the, leading the way and they will go to heaven and be partakers of the marriage that has been prepared for us in heaven. But um, the Lord is coming. We've got to live knowing that we're living at the end of the age. We've got to prepare ourselves for the coming of the Lord. He's coming very soon. Any day, any moment, any time, he can appear. So we've got to live knowing that the Lord is coming and do what is right before him. But since we are in the new year, I just want to talk about forgiving others. Because so many things happened to us in this year that has just gone by. We have got to forgive others. Rabbi Akosa, as we mark the beginning of the new year, let that beginning of the new year start, start with the forgiving others. Because so many things happened. I don't know what happened to you or what, what you came across. Maybe it caused you pain, sorrow, tears. But it's time to forgive. Why? Because the Bible tells us to forgive one another. Rabbi Akosa, the Lord knew that things will happen to us. That will cause us to be unhappy or to, that will cause pain to us. But he never said we should hold on to it. He said we should forgive. Forgive one another. I don't know what you went through in the past year. But as we enter this new year, it's time to forgive. Don't just rush to, 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 to fast and say, I'm fasting. It's time for fasting. It's the beginning of the year. Yeah, we are fasting. 21 days fast or 30 days fast. But we forget about forgiving others. We have got to forgive others. Rabbi Akosa, it is time to forgive others. No matter what happened to us, no matter what we came across, we've got to forgive others. Before I go on, I just want to ask for financial assistance. The bank details will appear on the screen. If you can support me financially, that will be grateful. Uh, the Lord, may the Lord bless you as you support me financially. Rabbi Akosa, I just need some financial support so that I can be on TV more often. Because I've got so many things to talk about. I've got so a lot of information to talk about. I can I can manage to go to be on TV like three days a week. And one day I'll be talking about something else. Another day I'll be talking about something else. Because there's a lot to talk about. But I don't have enough time to talk about it. One day a week is not enough. So I need your support. Rabbi Akosa. So I can be on TV more often. And I just want to talk about what the Lord has given to me. I get messages from the Lord almost every day, but I don't have time to dish them out. I don't want to give the information that I've received, so I just want to release the information to you. So your financial support is greatly welcome. And as you support me financially, may the Lord bless you. May he increase you. May you multiply you. Going back to talking about forgiving, we've got to forgive others. It is time to forgive others. No matter what comes our way, no matter what they do, we have got to forget to forgive them. Because one qualification for us to go to heaven is forgiving, forgiving others. The problem is we want God to forgive us. But unless if we forgive others first, you will not forgive us. So there's no way you can say, God, forgive me, forgive me, forgive me, before you can forgive others yourself. So if you want God to, God to forgive you, you have got to forgive others. So we are living at a, at a time that we need to forgive others. And at a time when so many things are happening to us, things that will cause us to say, I'll never forgive that one. But we should not be saying that. We have got to forgive others because the word requires us to give, uh, forgive others. As the word says in Ephesians 4.32, and be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. So the, the word is telling us to forgive one another. And it is telling us that the, the Lord forgave us. So we need to forgive others. Rabbi Akosa, it is a requirement for us to forgive others. Magnerosa, before God can, can, can forgive us, we have got to forgive, forgive them. 
I don't care what, I don't know what they will have done to you or what they did to you. That causes you to be unable to forgive. But the Lord is asking us to forgive others. Rabbi Akosa, it's not by choice or it's, what, it's not what we want, but it is what the Lord is asking us to do, to forgive others. Even the Lord's prayer that he, he, he taught us, it says, forgive us our sins as we forgive others. That means, as we forgive us others, we forgive others first, then you forgive us. There's no way we can say we want to go to heaven, but we know we committed sins, we want him to forgive all our sins, but we, we don't want to forgive others. We just want him to forgive our sins, and then we can go to heaven, but we don't want to forgive others. Before he can forgive our own, we've got to forgive others. Rabbi Akosa. We've got to be tender-hearted towards each other, as the word said in Ephesians 4, 32, and we've got to forgive others. Rabbi Akosa, you can use it as a prayer point, but I've forgiven them. Lord, now you forgive me. But before you even say, Lord, now you could forgive me, the moment he sees that you have forgiven them, he will forgive you. It is one reason why many Christians are going to hell, because they are failing to forgive. Rabbi Akosa, the Lord, what the Lord expects us to do is when we have forgiven them, you go back to them and say sorry. Rabbi Akosa, you go back to them and talk to them. There's no way you can say I've forgiven them, but you don't want to see them. You don't want to talk to them. You don't want them to come near you. And you say you've forgiven them. We haven't. When you've forgiven them, you forget everything that happened. And you go back to them and talk to them. You associate with them. Rabbi Akosa, you might not want to eat with them, but you'll, you'll be able to talk to them. But if you don't want to see them, maybe when you see them, you start to cry. Tears roll down your tea, your eyes, and you say you have forgiven them. You have it. Rabbi Akosa, when you have forgiven them, you, when you see them, you'll be able to shake hands with them. Magnolosa, regardless of what, is, what happened. But when you see them and you see them coming from that side, you change direction. And you say you have forgiven them. You have it. Rabbi Akosa, we have got to forgive others. No matter what they did, it might be painful. How, I don't know how painful it is, but we've got to forgive others. This is the requirement. If we want to go to heaven, we've got to forgive others. If we fail to forgive others, we cannot enter heaven. One qualification to enter heaven is forgiving. And we've got to remember that. Rabbi Akosa, forgiveness is the only thing that start with, starts with us. Unless if we forgive others first, God will not forgive us. Everything, other, ev all other things we can do. Maybe God did already, like love. God loved already, so we can love. But it's not that God will not love us and we will love others. But with forgiving, God will not forgive us and we will forgive others. If there's something that we did in the past and God had forgiven us, but now there's something that has happened and God will not forgive us for that one until we forgive others. Rabbi Akosa, so forgiveness depends on us. If we want the Lord to forgive us, we have got to forgive others. Magnolosa, we should not be too hard on others. We should not be saying, why did they do that? I will not forgive them. No way. I will not come near them. I will not see them. I will not do nothing. I will not degree them. I will not shake hands with them. Why did they do that? No, 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 no. No. We have got to forgive. Rabbi Akosa, at times it is too painful. When you see that it is too painful, you cannot forgive. Go back to him and say, Lord, I want to forgive. But look at the pain. Look at what they did to me. Take away the pain, Lord. Because at times the pain is like a lot to you. It's in your heart. It's too heavy in you. But go back to him. If, you, if your desire is to forgive them, go back to them and say, Lord, take away the pain. I want to forgive them. If you cannot talk to them, you cannot see them face to face. If you ask him and say, Lord, take away the pain, I've forgiven them. I want to see them face to face. Yeah, bros. If you ask him, you'll be able to take away the pain. You'll be able to see them face to face. You'll be able to see them and talk to them. You'll be able to meet them and shake hands with them because you'll have taken away the pain of whatever happened or whatever they did to you. Rabbi Akos, but only if you go to, to him first and ask him to take it away from you. Rabbi Akos, a time something happens, something in minor, it's, it's not as bad as that, so much that you cannot forgive them. But because the devil comes in and uses it as, a, as an opportunity to magnify it and make you see it like it's very big, so you should not forgive them. How can they do that? That is very big. Or me, of all the people, how can they do that to me? No way. I will not forgive them. 
yet it is the devil. Or maybe the devil will use it to magnify it. So you look at it and look at it and see it is very big. You cry and it causes you pain, extra pain. You, you think you cannot forgive them because of the pain of that, it is, that it is causing you. Yet it is the devil that is causing all that so that you don't forgive them. So you continue with the Lord in your heart. So you, for, you don't forgive them. Why the plan of the devil is for you to be unable to forgive them. So that he, you, go, you go to hell with him. That is what he wants. So go back to God and say, Lord, take away the pain. Father, take away the Lord. You take it away. Because you will have seen that it is your desire to, to forgive them. But there is a pain. Something is stopping you. So you take away whatever is stopping you. Just ask him. Rabbi Yaakov. And they show up in ways that you can never understand. The Bible tells us in Colossians 3 13, it says, Bearing with one another and forgiving one another. If anyone has a complaint against another, even as, even as Christ forgave you, 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 so you also must do. So the Bible is telling us to forgive one another. Just like life, Christ forgave us. I don't care what they did to you. It is time to forgive one another. Uh, it, it could be as painful as they killed one, your loved one. Maybe they came with a knife or a gun and they killed your loved one. And you know that they, you lost your loved one because of them. But if heaven is your target, you have got to forgive them. I know at times it is very painful. But we've got to go back to God and say, God... Help me forgive. And you never know that your loved one might be in heaven enjoying. But you'll be, able, you'll be unable to go to heaven because of your loved one that you lost. That they caused you to lose. But your loved one is in heaven. Instead of you forgiving them. So that you can go to heaven as well and be with your loved one. That they, that they killed or they murdered. Then you, you once, they see, once again see your loved one in heaven. But if you fail to forgive, you refuse to forgive. You say, How, why did they do that? I'm not going to forgive them. Then you end up in hell. And you shall not be able to see that your loved one. Simply because you refuse to forgive. We have got to change our ways and do what the Bible te is telling us to do. The Bible is telling us to forgive. No matter the situation. I at times it is so painful. At times it's unbearable. But we have got to go back to God on our knees. It's about you. You know what you went through. You know what so and so caused you to go through. You know what they caused you to, to suffer. But go back to back to God on your knees and ask God to take off the Lord and say, Lord, I forgive them. Even if you are unable to go to them, to back to them and talk to them. But go to God and say, God, I've forgiven this one. God forgive me, this one I forgive it. If it is painful, say, God, take away the pain. I want to be able to forgive this one. So that when I see them, I'll be able to, to smile. Because at times you, you think when you see them, you want to revenge. You want to fight them back. You want to ask them why they did this and that. But it's not your, your own to revenge. The Bible did not say revenge one another. The Bible says forgive one another. So this is what we've got to do. I know at times it is very painful. But we present the pain to God. Say, God, you take the pain. Take care of the pain. Take care of everything that I went through. I just want to forgive and forget whatever I went through. Tomorrow you see them, you'll be laughing. You'll be able to shake hands with them. You'll be able to walk with them. You might not want to eat with them, depending on what they did to you, but you'll be able to talk to them, laugh with them, share jokes with them. Why? Because you have managed to forgive. Rabbi Akota, because this is, the word, this, this is what the word is asking us to do, to forgive. Magnus, if heaven is our target, we've got to forgive. Magnolosa, if we cannot forgive, then we have got to ask him to intervene and make a way for us to forgive. If we go back to him, we, he will see that we, it is beyond our under, understanding and our control. So we are asking him to intervene and then change the story and change the issue. Take away the pain so that when we see them, that heavy load is taken away from us. So we'll be able to smile. We'll, we'll be able to talk to them. We'll be able to do what we could not do before. Why? Because the pain is taken from us. But before the pain can be taken from us, we have to go back to him and ask him in this new year I just beg you to forgive others forget all what you went through in the past years let it be the thing of the past Rabbi Akosa, and start afresh this new year and start by forgiving others Rabbi Akosa, change your story Magnolosa no one will do it for you unless you, you do it for yourself Magnolosa, you have got to do it Rabbi Akosa, 
Yeah, brother, it is something that we need to do. The Bible says in Matthew 18, 21 to 22, Then Peter came to him and said, Lord, how often shall, shall my brother sin against me and I forgive him? Up to seven times. Jesus told him, Jesus said to him, I do not say to you up to seven, seven times, but up to 77 times. Up to 70 times seven. So Peter was told by Jesus that we have got to forgive others up to 70 times seven times. Well, when you get to 70 times seven times, you can no longer count it. So that means we have got to forgive others and endlessly. As long as we live with them and they do this and this against us, we have got to forgive them. Regardless of the fact that we forget them yesterday, we forget them last month, we forget them two years ago. We have got to forgive them and keep on forgiving them and keep on forgiving them and keep on forgiving them until, to se until we get to 70 times, 7 times. That means we should not count how many times we have forgiven them. But if there is need to forgive them, we just have to forgive them. Regardless of how many times. Yeah, bros, we have got to forgive that. No matter how many times. The Bible is asking us to forgive. Jesus did not ask us to, to look at how many times we have forgiven them. But he, he asked us just to forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive. And the said, that's all we have got to do is to forgive. Nothing else but to forgive. The Bible tells us in Mark 11, 25, it says, And whenever you stand praying, if you have anything against anyone, forgive him, that your Father in heaven may also forgive your trespasses. So if we want to pray, before we can pray, we have, we have got to forgive others. And then the Father will forgive us. And then he will, he will hear our prayer. Because we have forgiven others. There's no way we can think that we just stand and pray and expect him to forgive us and hear us. Yet we have got people that we are holding in our hearts that we have not yet forgiven. Or we don't want to forgive. But we expect him to forgive us. It cannot be so. We have got to forgive others. Rabbi Agosa. Before we stand in prayer and pray, we've got to forgive others. And then then he will be able to forgive us. Before we can say we are now praying, we have got to start by forgiving all those people that we are holding in our hearts in one way or the other. We have got to forgive them. As we forgive them, God will be able to forgive us. And you will be able to hear our prayer. If we don't want to forgive them, but we just want to pray, that prayer is a waste of time. God will not hear it. Why? Because of because we have failed to forgive others. We need to forgive others. We have got nothing to do but forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive and forgive. Arabia calls. It is time for us to forgive others. Rebros. So that God will forgive us. Whatever we did. We have sinned so many times against him. Without even knowing that we have sinned against him. But for him to forgive us, we have got to forgive others. Those few times that they sinned against us, we have got to forgive them. Then he will be able to forgive us. Our many times that we sinned against him, without even knowing Rabbi Akosa, that we have sinned against him. Yeah, bros. So it is time, Rabbi Akosa, for us to change our ways and do what is done for the Lord. Rabbi Akosa, it is time for us to forgive others. The Bible says in Mark, in Matthew 6, 14 to 15, For if you forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. So this is the condition. If, you, if we forgive men what they've done to us, then God will forgive us what we did. If we don't forgive men what they did to us, God will not forgive us what we did. Rabbi Akosa, so there's a condition here. For him to forgive us, we have got to forgive others. Rabbi Akosa, without us forgiving others, he will not be able to forgive us. Magnolosa, so we have got to, it has got to start with us. This is why I said at the beginning, forgiving is the only thing that has got to start with us. Love started with God, showing us love, giving us our Lord Jesus Christ here on earth. Then it went on to the Lord Jesus Christ, dying for us on the cross, showing us love. And now we've got love because we've seen it. 
But forgiveness, we have got to forgive. And Rabbi goes, we don't have to say, God, can you forgive so and so I can see and forgive as well. Jesus, can you forgive so and so so I can see and forgive so? No. We have got to forgive whosoever it is that we are supposed to forgive. So that he can forgive us. Without us forgiving whosoever we are supposed to forgive, he will not be able to forgive us. So we have got to change our ways and start to forgive others. This new year, let this new year start with you forgiving others. Rabbi goes, it is time to forgive others. And forget what will happen to us in all those years, in the past. Let us open a new leaf at the beginning of this year. Let it be a year that starts with us forgiving others. Rabbi goes, once you have forgiven others, God will forgive you whatever you are supposed to be forgiven. Maybe you don't even know it. That is the problem most of the times. We sin against the Lord without even knowing that we have sinned. And we need him to forgive us. But there's no way he can forgive us. Our many sins, without, forgive, without us forgiving others, there are one or two things that they did to us. We have got to change our ways and forgive others. So the Lord will be able to forgive us. Because without that, he will not be able to forgive us. The Bible says in Luke 23, 24, Luke 23, 34, then Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they do. This was our Lord Jesus Christ when they were crucifying him, killing him on the cross. He said, forgive them. Rabbi Akosa, he did not say, Father, ask, check how many they are. Mark their names and their faces. Count them, Baba, and then send them to hell. No. Rebrose, he did not all say that. He said, Father, forgive them. They don't know what they are doing. Forgive them, oh Lord. So Jesus led us by example. By forgiving, by asking the Father to forgive those that were killing him. And McDonald's, he did not ask for anything else but forgiving. He told the Father, forgive them. He did not say, why did they do that to me? Why are they beating me? No, he said, forgive them. He did not say, why did they give me vinegar to drink when I asked for water? He said, forgive them. Whatever they've done, it doesn't matter. Just forgive them. So we have to learn from the Lord. Rabbi Akosa, even Stephen in, in Acts 7, 59 to 60, the Bible says, and they stoned Stephen as he was calling on God and saying, Lord Jesus, receive my spirit. Then he knelt down and cried out with a loud voice, Lord, do not charge them with this sin. And when he had said this, he fell asleep. Uh, before Stephen could die, he had to forgive others. He forgave them. The people that stoned him to death, he forgave them. And asked the Lord to forgive them. Then he died and went to, hev to heaven straight. If he had said, I'm not going to forgive them, he was going to die and go to hell straight. But because he asked the Lord to forgive them, he forgave them. He died and went to heaven straight. But he, he did it. He asked, them, he asked the Lord to forgive them. He did not say, Lord, look at what they are doing. Lord, they are killing me, but I did not do anything wrong, Father. Judge them. No, he said, forgive them, Father. Regardless of what they had done. But we have to remember what they, what they did to Stephen. They killed him for doing nothing. Reproach, they killed him because of the Holy Spirit that was in him. They were jealous. Out of jealous, they killed him. But the same people that were killing him, Stephen forgave them. And he said, Father, forgive them. He did not say, Father, judge them. He said, Father, forgive them. Because he had forgiven them. The same people that were killing him. We have got to do the same. It doesn't matter what they do to us. We have got to forgive them. Just like, Genesis, just like Abraham in, in, in Genesis 14, verses 14 to 16. Lord, that took uh, the best land from Abraham. And Abraham had to go to, 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 to land that was not that much pro productive. When now Lord was facing destruction in, in, in Sodom and Gomorrah, Abraham had to stand on the gap for Lot so that Lot will not get destroyed. Why? Because Abraham had forgiven Lot. Even when, when Lot was captured by the raiders, Abraham had to take his army and go and rescue Lot. The same Lot that took the best land from him. Abraham did not say, but Lot took the best land from me, so I'm not going to, uh, to pray for him. I'm not going to rescue him. No, Abraham went to rescue Lot. Regardless of what Lot had done to him, he rescued Lot and bring, brought him back. 
And then when Lot was facing, facing destruction in Sodom and Gomorrah, Abraham had to go to God, to God and pray and ask God to, to release, to have mess upon Lot. And God had mess upon Lot. And Lot was told to leave, leave, leave Sodom and Gomorrah because of Abraham. Why? Because Abraham had forgiven Lot. The fact that Lot had taken the best land from Abraham, Abraham did not see it as something that mattered. He, he forgave Lot and in hours he was now standing on the cape for Lot and he was now taking his people from his house to go and pursue. Lot to go and pursue people who had captured Lot and he managed to get, to get Lot released. Why? Because of forgiveness. Why? Because Abraham had forgiven Lot. We have got to do the same. Like Abraham. And forgive whosoever it is. That is what is wrong to us. It doesn't matter what they did to us. We need to forgive. Just our Lord Jesus Christ told, just like he told us, to forgive 70 times, 7 times. So we've got to forgive 70 times, 7 times. So that the Lord will be able to forgive us. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you richly. May he do what only he can do in your lives. May he change your story. As he forgive others this year. May, be a, may it be a, a different year. Because you have started the year by forgiving others. Rabbi Akosa, by releasing them. By forgiving them whatever they did to you. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you richly. May he do what, what only he can do in your lives. May he change your story. As this, at the beginning of this year, as, he forgive, as you forgive others, may he forgive you and bless you richly. In Jesus' name. watching Faith World TV. Faith World TV, changing the world with the Word of God.